Hey everyone, I'm here today to show you a couple of really cool things. The MIDI Commander by Mellow Audio, and also their expression pedal that pairs really well with this. Mellow Audio contacted me and wanted me to check out their stuff, and I was really excited because I did not know about these products, and I've been looking for something to control my fractal. I record with the Fractal FX2, and they discontinued the foot controller for that. So uh, I've been looking for something like this, so this was perfect. Uh, so they sent me this, and I've been using this for a while, and it's really awesome. So I'll get into some more of the details. The MIDI Commander is a foot controller with a lot of flexibility and control. Um, you can use it with all MIDI control devices, like audio interfaces or guitar amp software, and also multi-effect pedals or something like the Fractal like I use. It has 10 foot switches and also has two inputs for expression pedals, so you can use a wah pedal and a volume pedal, for example. Another cool feature is that it has presets for some of the most commonly used guitar amp softwares or processors. It has presets for the Jam Up, Bias FX, Axe FX, which I use, and Kemper. I really like that it's powered uh, by batteries um, because I just bought a couple of rechargeable AAA batteries that I'm going to keep in here. Um, and then when you need to recharge them, it has a USB port um, that you can plug in and supply power that way. And you can uh, charge the batteries that are in the pedal that way. So it's really convenient. It's also one less wire I have to worry about if I'm playing somewhere live. I really love these products because they are so small. And if you're using something like a Fractal or even software on your laptop, the idea is you don't want to be hauling around uh, big amps or lots of equipment. The MIDI Commander comes with a great manual. Um, I read online a lot of people complained about the manual saying it was confusing, but I think they updated it so it's very simple now. I don't know a lot about MIDI, but I was able to figure out enough from the manual to use a custom preset on the pedal to control my Axe FX. I think the Axe FX preset um, allows you just to switch between patches. It's really easy, but I wanted to control different effects within a patch, so all I did was uh, go into the customization feature, and I set each button to control a custom uh, MIDI channel that corresponded to the effects that are on my fractal. The pedal itself, I think, is almost all metal in construction, so it feels really solid and really sturdy. It's definitely something you would uh, feel comfortable taking on the road and you could you know, toss this around and it seems like it's going to be fine. I want to talk just a little bit about my experience using this. I made sure that I used it live several times before uh, you know, deciding what I liked and didn't like about it. The first time I played with it live, uh, it worked great, did everything I wanted, but I ran into a really small problem, which is maybe sort of a big problem, and that was that the expression pedal stopped working and it decided to stop working when my volume was at zero. So that turned out to be a big issue that day. Um, but when I got home and I tested a few things, uh, it seems like my other expression pedals worked with it just fine, so I think it was just an issue with this one. I contacted them about it, and I also let them know that um, there was a light out on one of the LEDs. And typically, you know, LEDs don't go out very easily, so my thought was maybe since they were shipped in the same package, it got kind of bumped around and it caused something in here and in here. Um, they let me know that it was most likely some issue just with this, so I sent it back, they sent me a new one, uh, LED works, it's great, but this still doesn't work. So the problem wasn't in this. I, I think this is really sturdy and uh, there's just no problems with this. But maybe the pedal just doesn't have quite the same quality control. So I was a little disappointed on that because this thing is really tiny for a pedal and I kind of like that. It could have just been my luck because it seems like many people were having fantastic results with both of these products together. While I love the product completely, I'd have to take off just maybe a few points for the quality. But for the price, this is an amazing unit. You can do so much with this. Similar products will cost you the same price and you might get two or three MIDI buttons. So after I figured everything out and discovered that it was working fine and it was just the pedal that wasn't working, um, I went to play again live with this. Everything worked perfect. It was amazing. It was so much fun using this live. Here's a quick demonstration using the MIDI Commander's preset for uh, the Fractal to control switching between different uh, presets.
can even switch banks so I can keep going so you're not limited to just um, four. And if you're on a specific preset, um, the top buttons, uh, which are labeled one through four on the MIDI commander, usually have some extra function based on what the preset has. So for example, it seems like number two is the drive pedal, if there's a drive pedal in that preset. Number three seems to be a delay. The delay is kind of quiet on this patch, apparently. I like that patch. So if you're looking for something compact to control your fractal or whatever else you use, whether it's software or uh, Kemper or Bias FX or something like that, I highly recommend this controller. It's so easy to use and it's already become a staple for me in terms of what I bring to a gig. Unfortunately, I can't say exactly the same about the expression pedal because I don't really know how well it works because it stopped working so quickly. Um, but chances are you already have an expression pedal. Um, I already did, even though I've been looking for a MIDI controller for a long time, I have an expression pedal already. And this one is very tiny, so you might not find it comfortable anyway, but um, check this out if you're looking for something just extremely compact. It's like half the size of my crybaby Watt, so it's super convenient to take this with you. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you're interested more in the MIDI Commander, I'll leave some links in the description. It's actually listed on Amazon and it's really cheap, so it's definitely worth at least checking out if you have something that you can control via MIDI. I hope this video was informative for you guys, and I'll see you in some more videos really soon. We're definitely going to do a tour of my home studio, and I have some more music videos coming with some awesome collaborations that you guys are going to love, so I'll see you soon.